Today I'm going to take a look and do a quick build in this 8-bay NAS case. This particular NAS case is the A7. I don't know why it's called the A7 when it's clearly 8 drives. It's sold under a whole bunch of different names. The, really the only important variation you need to know about is the one made by UNAS, which is the 810A. That one's much better than this. Unfortunately, it's never in stock. And it's also a little bit more expensive. So this one, for the price, which, you know, it varies, but I, I think I paid $170 for it. It's a bay NAS with hot swappable bays. I mean, that's the price of like a smaller five bay NAS, like the Jones Bow N2, which, fair enough, is a nicer quality product. Anyway, on the front, lots of status LEDs. They all blinky blinky when it's running. Power, reset, two USB 3.0 ports, and that's it. No openings for the top section. This is a two compartment case. Top section is for the MATX motherboard. Bottom section is for the drives. The drive sleds are rather restrictive with their airflow. They have EMI shielding and plastic, so they're pretty restrictive. And then they have multiple layers of plastic. You can see it's got to get through here. The, this plastic and the metal so yeah very poor airflow design plus they're just very compact so there's not really much space for air to get in uh, around the drives round back flex atx power supply most of these only use flex atx power supplies you're not really going to find any of these that use sfx or ata power supplies it's just the nature of the uh i guess the oem that <laughs> that made all these this particular one has dual 90 92 millimeter fans whatever you want to call them they're the same thing let's just pretend these are the same fan uh, i had to pull one out and put it in a server <laughs> don't ask anyway has two 92 millimeter fans four slots because it's an matx board uh, obviously your motherboard will vary with <laughs> whatever one you've installed the one i'm using from msi video but it's an amd board so we're not using that on this uh with this processor usb 2 and 3 ps2 for some reason and i think this is 2.5 gig lan and audio and stuff whatever the biggest difference between this and the unas version is that the unas version has different dimensions and is able to have dual 120 millimeter fans that is a big difference with Noctua fans in here, which, you know, aren't the fastest fans. Noctua fans are really good, but they're a trade-off between sound and uh, just airflow in general. With Noctua fans, this just cooks drives. There's no two ways about it. Just sitting here in a room idle with the drives spinning, it easily gets the drives up to 40 degrees. You know, 40 degrees is like my cutoff point. I mean, ideally you want it lower. 40 degrees, I mean, they'll work. I know drives are designed to run at like 70 Celsius, but don't ever do that. <laughs> they, they don't like it. On the side, aside from my average cable management, there is the mount for the power supply. Nice little amount of space to tuck away all the extra cables and you've got the front panel connectors and stuff like that on the side 60 millimeter fan which is nice to see on the upper level although honestly with the setup i have on this one where i've got an amd uh, am4 platform it still gets really toasty up there enough to make it break i don't think so yeah that's more of a personal preference it'll still work other side just has more access to the back area. There's actually a lot of space back here, which is really nice. Not common in a lot of NAS boards or uh, NAS cases because they like to put the fans right here. <laughs> and then you, you can only use like 90 degree SATA cables and even the Molex connectors difficult to use. This backplane does support SAS drives and SATA drives. It's got fan connectors. The fans just run at full speed, so I don't necessarily recommend using them unless you're just planning on blasting this thing with air, which you may need to do. <laughs> I, I think this case is really decent if you don't mind noise. If you buy faster fans, like, you know, you just go on Amazon or whatever and find some, uh, you know, like Delta fans. They don't need to be crazy Delta fans. <laughs> nothing nothing uh, absurd. But, you know, if you find some high speed fans that can actually pull a lot of air, the drives will stay cool. 
the motherboard area you probably don't need to do anything i mean it gets kind of toasty up there but it's not the end of the world uh cable management's okay in here there's lots of space for cables there are some weird limitations since you're using flex atx power supplies they tend to have short cables i had to use uh, both an eps power extender and an atx power extender I'm using a stock cooler on this MSI Pro B550M-VC Wi-Fi. I picked this board because it has a good number of slots, even though they're mostly 1X PCI Expressors. There's a 16X and then three 1X. That gives you options because you don't necessarily need super high-speed cards. You may just need to install something like a, like a cheap video card and put that in one of the slower slots, that sort of thing. I'm using just regular SATA cables, but you can get like an 8-in-1 cable that's a lot more convenient. But this one, uh, because the drives are so widely spaced, because there's eight of them, uh, it kind of helps to have the individual SATA cables or maybe two sets of four. Although this motherboard has eight SATA ports, which is great because you have eight drives, four of them are from like a J Micron controller or an Asmedia controller or whatever one it is. So they're not true like on chipset SATA ports. Unfortunately, no one really does that from what I can tell. I, uh, you may be able to go up to 570, X570. You can always put in an HBA. This board does support ECC. I've confirmed that it supports it. I've got uh, four sticks of 16 gigs of uh, ECC time tech memory. I wanna say it's like a no name, but it's actually quite good. I've been using them for years. Uh, a whole bunch of their uh, sticks of memory. Never had a failure or anything. I just got a uh, NVIDIA Quad Quadro 410 junk video card in here just to give it uh, graphics support. I do have a spare pro APU, which I'll probably swap out and put into this thing. If you can get the UNAS one, go for it. Overall, I would say I would give this like a loose recommendation for this case. It's fine if you don't mind faster fans. I think if you were trying to make a really quiet NAS, you don't want this. I mean, one eight drives is gonna make a lot of noise. I mean, no matter what, but at least you can spin them down. That's not a big deal. The issue is just cooling them. And it really does need a fair amount of cooling with 92 millimeter fans. And I just don't think any kind of quiet fan like Noctua's, even good quiet fans like Noctua's are enough to really keep this thing, keep the drives cool to an acceptable level. I know this is kind of a nitpick, but these drive sleds tend to catch and they're just kind of, they're just kind of finicky. I, I don't like them. Like I said, it's they're already very restrictive, but the fact that they, they have a tendency to just like catch on stuff and you have to like open and close this as you eject it. Not a fan. They do work, but not great. You can tell it's very cost reduced.